Okay, I'm gonna run through this real quick because I'm about ready to throw up. All morning they got 9-11 shit going on. 9-11 this, 9-11 that. Excuse me, I gotta open the shutters so I can see what other bullshit's going on outside today. Let's do a little history le lesson here. <clears throat> Don Rosa, 1996, draws a cube with an S which represents a sine wave that slams into two buildings that later in the cartoon become an, uh, a visitor's attraction. The two buildings fall into each other, representing the two poles collapsing. Okay, that's 1996. Don Rosa, Nazi. Um, I don't give a fuck if the guy tries to sue me. He's a fucking Nazi, Hebrew, Zionistic piece of shit. Draws all the Donald Duck crap, so he's Masonic. Okay? Knew about it. Nobody ever talked to him about it. The FBI, the CIA never said a fucking word to this guy because they're a part of it. This is, 19, this is 1996. <clears throat> Let's go to the Sesame Street, 1976. Right? 1976. Interesting. Here's the Cookie Monster destroying the World Trade Center in 1976. We can tell that it's a nighttime scenario, yet you've got a yellow sun with a black spot. <clears throat> Do you know what that is? That's the black sun. That's Saturn. That's Saturn. That's the black sun. Remember I told you that the sunflower is the logo for, the, for Saturn? It's because the center is black. And the light that it's emitting, black light, is shown with the yellow. Okay, so we know in both of these pictures, right? Both of these pictures, here's the time cube, Saturn. And here it is up here. And whatever this monster is, whoever it is, it's blue, which, you know, which we know that's the left pillar. We know that that's some, something or something else that's evil. This picture was shot deliberately with this geogra geometrical shape here and this black cube right here, which is the same cube that's over here. Was this a device that brought these down? Maybe it was. Maybe it was high technology. Maybe they rolled that thing out and blew that those fucking buildings into into fucking dust. I don't know. I got a pretty good idea that's what happened. Then let's look at this. This is at 5.45 in the morning. Or I mean in the afternoon. X9. Where did that come from? Who put that in there? <clears throat> so you gotta ask yourself, why did somebody put that in there? Then we got the story over here with Jenny's car. You see it? Remember with Jenny with the $5,000 parking tickets? That adds up to exactly the same thing that, that this does? We know, look. It's a Nazi Hebrew Zionist takeover. This piece here. Here's the three planes that took off and did the damage, supposedly. Here's what they add up to. The first plane... Add it up to 9. 8, 4, 6, 18. 18 is 1 plus 8 equals 9. The second one, 9 plus 3 equals 12. The third one, they added the, the, they added the, the seconds to it because they had to make it equal 6. Do you see? Are you guys getting it? No? Okay, here. I'll try and sum it up for you. Because you don't have any biblical fucking knowledge, which is about 98% of the whole fucking thing. <clears throat> Let me let me let me let me make it clear here. Here it is here. Do you see here? Read what it says. The rise of the one <coughs> world <coughs> trade center. The rise of the one world trade center. Okay? See over here? It's got tower of hate. No, no, that message is for you. That ain't somebody that hate, that's hating on the tower. That's them hating on you. Rise of the one world trade. Rise of a one world economy. Rise of a one world monetary system. What does, why can't anybody see this? They're telling you right here. Rise of the one world trade. When the towers fell down, that was the beginning of the end of grace. It means that Fun time was over is what it means. The rise of the one world trade center. 
I told you, New York is spook central. It's the trade center. The trade. Trade. Phoenician. Money. Tyranny. I don't understand why people can't read headlines and get stories. The rise of the one world trade. And in those days, men will not be able to buy or sell unless they have the mark. Okay? Now, whether you think that's a computer chip, it, I don't give a fuck what you think that is. It doesn't matter, and I'm not here to hip you to what it is. What it's saying is, unless you're part of the one world trade, you ain't, you ain't doing business. This has nothing to do with a building or Americans flying their little flags. It's all coded bullshit. And little Jenny over here with her car, yeah, that's probably drugs or fucking uh, moving guns would be my guess. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Uh, what was her, what, what was her ticket? 500,000 or something? It was some incredible amount, I don't remember. Oh, it was 105,000, I'm sorry, I see it. Yeah, yeah. That was probably drugs or guns, because Fox News, the Zionist bastards have their hands in everything. But I'm going to follow through with my promise. I'm going to go find out, you know, we already know what the house has got a big G on it with a big red X, and the big red X is Nazi communistic uh, Zionism. That's what it is. I don't know why nobody else on YouTube is making these videos, why they dance around the Saturn thing. You know, why? Because it leads back to the Jews. Why? Because it connects the Jews to the Nazis. I don't know. I got a good idea, that's why. So I guess I'll just have to be this one-man show and do this shit myself. The Tower of Hate is, a, is the title for you of how they feel about you. The Rise of the One World Trade Center is a statement about what's being put into place right now. And all of this over here, the three flights, was just the status quo of how everything is going along just swimmingly with your 936 and your 369. Now, excuse me, I have to go throw up because everybody's on TV with the little flags with six. They're doing six seconds of silence. On Fox News, they did six seconds of silence. Stupid 